Hello and welcome. This is Nikhil Raj, course director for tutormash.com. In this session, I will explain you how to generate S curves in Primavera. So first of all, I'll explain you S curves. An understanding of S curve and its analysis will help engineers and project team members to grasp the importance of monitoring the progress and growth of an ongoing project at a specific stage or percentage of completion. So here I have given example. So let's assume that there is a project that is of five week. So you have planned to spend thousand dollars on week one, fifteen hundred dollars on week two, two thousand dollars on week three, week four one thousand five hundred dollars and five hundred dollars on week five. So the cumulative will be like this thousand dollars on week one. 1000 plus 1500 dollars makes 2500 dollars on week 2 so it goes on and makes 6500 on week 5 so your total budget of this project is 6500 dollars now we see what happened when the project is executed once the project executed instead of spending 1000 dollar in first week you spend 1200 dollars and week 2, instead of spending $1,500, you spend $1,800. And when it comes to the cumulative, you can see you have spent $7,400 on 5th week instead of $6,500. So that's a pretty big money comparing to what you have planned. Now, when you create a graph based on planned cumulative and actual cumulative, you are generating an S-curve. So here you can see the curve in the x-axis it is showing the time week 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and in the y-axis it is showing the cost that is $1000 to $8000 and this violet color shows the planned and this green color shows the actuals. So here you can see the cumulative of planned and actual graph it's going up and when you draw a line based on planned and actual you will get two curves. You can see there is a violet curve and a sky blue curve where this violet curve represents the actual which is displaying over planned curve. That means you are spending more money than what you have planned and the sky blue represents the planned curve which is below. The actual curve represents what you have planned is lesser than what you have spent. So in Primavera we can generate a financial S curve. So using the same methodology you can create a progress curve as well. So we will create a very small project and I will explain you how to generate curves. After that you can try on big projects. So I will create one activity that is activity A which is of 10 days starting on 6th December and finishing on 15th December. Let's assign some resources. So I'm going to assign a supervisor and Mr. Nabil. So when you assign resources to an activity, it creates cost. So what is the total budget of this project? You can right click, you can add columns. I don't want all this stuff. I will add the cost, budgeted total cost. So here is budgeted total cost. Press apply and say OK. So the total budget of this project is $3,500. You can see Mr. Nabil, his cost is $200 a day and, and working for 10 days makes, makes $2,000 and supervisor, his cost is $150 a day and working for 10 days makes $1,500. So total cost is $3,500. So I'm going to change the time scale to week per day 2, press apply. So it is showing day by day. You can go to the resource usage profile and you can see how resources is assigned. So this is Mr. Nabil and this is supervisor. And if you click both, you can see how both of the cost is incurred on the project. Now, if you want to generate curves, you can right click here, you can go to resource usage profile option. You can change the options to budgeted by date and cumulative, actual by date and cumulative. You can uncheck remaining early. 
you can press cost so now the program will display the cost cost that you have budgeted and the cumulative actual cumulative now press apply and press ok you can see there is yellow bars that represents budgeted and this yellow line shows budgeted now let's update the project so to update project you need to go to status let's say this activity have started on 6th December and you're updating it on 10th December so uh, let's say there are remaining six more days to complete the project and reschedule it on 10 after that you can go to resource usage profile you can see now there is a blue bar that represents the actual of Mr. Nabil this is supervisor so if you want to enter actual values of these two resources you can go back to the details you can go to resources actual units is 5 let's say I will make it 6 you can see the cost is also changed to $900 now go to resource usage profile and go to supervisor you can see there is a change in the actual and what you have planned so that is why the curve also you can see there is a variance there is blue curve and yellow curve so similar way you can generate S curve in another way that is activity usage profile you can go to this option you can say all activities and you can right click on this graph go to activity usage profile options say that you want to display the cost baseline by date and cumulative budgeted by date and cumulative actual by date and cumulative and uncheck remaining early and if you want to show the labels you can check here non labor material you can check here after that press apply so you can see the program has generated a curve this is baseline baseline and budgeted is same so you can remove baseline now you can see this s curve is generated here if you don't want to show the bars you can uncheck the bars so you can see the curves so this is how you generate the s curves in primavera if you want to take this as a print you can go to print preview you can go to page setup go to options and say profile and press apply so that program will generate a report that you can print so this is how we generate S-curves in Primavera. So hope you understood this session and thanks for watching.